Vigilante Winston here with a very simple question, and that is, are the Bucks now the favorite to win a championship in the NBA after acquiring Dame Lillard in Wednesday's trade? And I would say probably. Um, I think that combination works well. There were a lot of people who wanted that combination. I saw, what's his name, Commissioner Dynamo uh, predicted it a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago. Uh, he wasn't the only one. There was quite a few people who wanted something like that to happen, especially once it came out that Damian Lillard was looking to be traded. Um, it was either there or Miami. I think Miami was his uh, preferred team. But what do I think? Um, well, I know that the Bucks had to give up Drew Holiday. Um, they also gave up Grayson Allen, but I think Drew Holiday is going to be obviously a bigger loss. Some people, well, some people, a lot of people are sore on Drew Holiday for how he played Jimmy Butler in the playoffs that obviously got them eliminated. Um, but I still think Drew Holiday is a huge loss, um, especially defensively. Now, obviously, Giannis himself is a great defender and a great rim protector, but losing Drew Holiday is really going to impact their identity. Um, and obviously, even though Damian Lillard is a great player, he's not known for defense. I don't know, man. Part of me wonders is these superstar combinations, are they going to continue to win? I think it seems like Denver still needs to be considered the favorite, honestly. They have Jokic, they have Jamal Murray, they have MPJ. They have a team that's really built for what they do, and they have the chemistry already built in. They don't have any added pressure. They, Ironically enough, despite being defending champs, because of the offseason trades with the Suns, and obviously the Suns were part of this trade, they got rid of uh, DeAndre Aiden, and I know that's been a thing for them, so they, they kind of leveled up just to get rid of him because of uh, all the issues he's had over there, addition by subtraction. But because of the offseason trades with the Suns and now the Bucks, there's going to be more pressure on those teams than Denver to repeat, and they kind of get to fly under the radar again. So part of me would actually pick Denver as the favorite if I had to. If you still put a gun to my head, I say, you know what? They're the defending champs. Yoki is still the best player in the league. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, in saying that, there's a strong argument that the second best player in the league is Giannis himself. And now he has an offensive partner that can carry the low, especially from the perimeter and off the dribble and in late games. Um, areas where Giannis struggles. They seem to make a great inside out combination with Damian Lillard having range from forever and Giannis being so good at finishing at the basket and being at the rim and being again a great rim protector and rebounder. So, I mean, obviously the Bucks were already a good team. They're still going to be a good team. They're still going to be a contender. Um, the finals may indeed be the Bucks and the Nuggets. Um, so, you know, prediction there, I guess. I still would put Denver, despite all the offseason trades, I they would be my favorite. But this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Um, I'm a fan of both guys as far as Lillard and Giannis. Um, I know a lot of people have given Damian Lillard a lot of crap. I have a video on this channel talking about what do people want from Dame around the time he started to give a trade request because... So there were so many people who said, oh, Dame's an idiot for staying in Portland year after year after year. And so year after year, everyone criticized Dame for wanting to stay in Portland. Then when he wants to trade, oh, my God, he's another superstar who wants to trade. So I felt like Damian Lillard was in just, you know, cannot win territory with a lot of fans. He damned if he do, damned if he don't. But now he's traded. Now he's finally going to be on a, a, a team that has a chance to win. All respect to the teams with CJ. Um, but, you know, Portland Portland had done a terrible job of building a team around Dame. Let's be honest. I know it's not all their fault. You know, Portland is not a free agent spot. Um, and I understand that. But they still have not done a good job. I remember the team that went to the conference finals. And, yes, they got swept by the Warriors. Okay, I understand that. But they didn't bring any of that team back. They just totally let that team dissipate and eventually traded CJ. So it's like... They were never really interested in building a championship team. That's another can of worms. But not every team, not every franchise cares about building a champion. A lot of franchises are very happy to just have a good player or two who can draw people in. They can sell people season tickets. They can sell people those expensive-ass floor seats. And that's all they really want to do. They don't really care to win a championship. They don't care to go into the luxury tax. They don't care to spend what you need to spend to be a champion. They care to buy for one and sell for two, to quote Prop Joe. And I think the Portland Trailblazers are indeed one of those franchises, at least historically, 
Um, they've always had, you know, a decent core, decent team, decent enough to maybe make the playoffs, um, but not really good enough to win a championship. That's been their MO literally since I've been alive. I mean, think about it. The Portland Trailblazers have made the playoffs most of the years of my life. I'm, I'm 36 in a week. And most of those years, rather it was the Clyde Drexler years, rather it was the Jail Blazer years, the Brandon Roy years, the LaMarcus Aldridge years, the LaMarcus Aldridge and Dame years, the Dame CJ years, that whole era. They've had teams that were good enough to make the playoffs, not good enough to win the title. And I don't think that happened on accident. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully Dame can, you know, get a ring. I do want to see him get a ring just, um, you know, just because he's a great player. But I don't know. I still think Denver is the favorite. But they definitely will be improved. It'll definitely be exciting to see. And we'll see what happens this NBA season. But what do you think? I'm rambling. What do you think about this Dame trade? Do you think that this puts Milwaukee back into the championship contention? They're the favorites. Or do you think another team, if not Denver, maybe the Suns or whoever the hell you think, is the favorite to win it all you tell me if you like the video please like the video if you're so obliged to share and subscribe please do that and even if you do none of these things thank you for watching thank you for your time good night and god bless i'll talk to you guys later peace